check, 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 check. Mic check one, two. What is good? What is good? I believe we are on episode 23. I might be miscounting a little bit. I don't know. Uh, but we are at uh, episode 23, I believe. We'll find out momentarily. I do owe some people an apology. Uh, well, Papa Watt, because I didn't realize that uh, he had, you know, he wanted to skip the line or whatnot. And if you are an early adapter, first time tuning in, thank you so much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, usually I start off around like uh, two o'clock, but today is three o'clock and I ain't gonna be on here too long. Uh, right before UFO show up. <laughs> it's stupid. I'm sitting here reading Twitter, of course, goddamn uh, MG the Future on his, on his ones and twos. Uh, I fought with him the long way, you feel me? Uh, it's about 87 degrees right now in Georgia, ATL to be exact, um, yeah. And uh, let me go ahead and get some stuff in there. Thank you so much for the hearts, I really appreciate that. Shoot, I had to take me a little nap, bruh. Um, uh, Andre Polk, what's going on? Oh, my pleasure, my pleasure, my pleasure. Uh, I'm just trying to uh, get things together. You know, I'm, I'm still kind of waking up, to be honest. Was it Streamlabs? I need to get that pulled up. Uh, let me go ahead and grab my phone, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and crack it on, crack it on in here. And get it started. Destructor, what's going on? How you doing? Uh, Geek Rock, what's going on? <laughs> Sugar, what's going on? Hey, how you doing, sweetheart? Um, bright, uh, bright tonic, what's good? What's good? DMG, what's going on? Oh, for, oh, word, word. That's what's up. Um, I'm up my live to uh, a master class. I think it's pretty good. You know, uh, as I, you know, do these master classes, uh, they get they get a, a lot better, and that was like kind of in between getting really good at doing it. So you know, in a yeah, it's everything is is okay. Are oh, you in you in Georgia? That's what's up. That's what's up. But uh, let me go ahead and uh, establish some things real quick. I, I'm I'm still here with you guys. Just making sure, you know, I, my ass for real just woke up. I woke up early this morning, then I cleaned up, and then I went right back to sleep. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I, I definitely owe somebody a, a review. Some people a review and stuff like that, so I do apologize again. But yeah. It's pretty good. About four likes, 20 concurrent viewers. I appreciate that. Just hit that like button. You know, it helps with the algorithm to discover this show. Um, believe it or not, truth be told, this is like the worst viewed. Anytime I look at any analytics, as much as people are in here, this is the worst viewed show. So I don't know what to do to make it pop for whatever it is. I understand that people support it or whatnot and people want this, these type of live shows, but for some godforsaken reason, they do horrible on my channel uh and i'm thinking about just moving it on to another channel period just getting rid of this shit not doing it <laughs> not doing it here at least but going elsewhere with it and i think that might be better for for the channel in a nutshell because where i'm going to go with this content uh the camera's a little crooked let's move it over here uh, i hate this shit as i said i clean up i got two bags back there CJF music, what's going on? Uh, Attila the, Attila the, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Uh, what's good, what's good? Oh Lord, Streamlabs trying to sell me shit. Lordy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up that email and then I'm gonna continue with this show from right there, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, uh, I, I would figure that it would be that, but for the most part, uh, when doing the show, when I do this on, when I, I just did this on Monday, the same results later time, I did it at the time where I looked at the YouTube analytics, and I'm gonna tell you like this, Brightronic, or uh, Brightonic, my bad. I always say your name, I do apologize. I'm not the type of content creator that, that is unaware of when people are online, right? So the masses of people, there are tons of people that watch YouTube around this time. Like not just people in general, specifically 
on my channel, there are more people that are watching content on my channel on Sunday than any other day of the week. Like, if I was to show you that analytic, that shows that there are people here. They're just not interested in this content, just to be honest, quite clear. It's quite clear when I go live, when I look at my statistics right now, I only have 23 people in here. So when you look at that aspect and then you see that this content also has the most unsubscribes out of every single last one of my content as well. So when I look at that uh, statistic alone, those statistics, that means that people do not want this content on here. So just to let you know, I'm very, very conscious of what people want. So it's a really small sample pool of people, 33 people. At most, it will go to about 50, 60, maybe 80 at best. So that means that there's not people that are interested in this. When I go live on Thursday at eight, which is uh, in contrast to a Sunday where most people are off and that watch my channel specifically, there are far more people that watch me make a beat than they are that want to listen to other people's music. So just to put that into, you know, and that's not just me being rude, this is me looking at my data from all the years that I've been on YouTube. So people really don't want this content. I do this, when I say I do this because I love music and I enjoy uh, giving people feedback and helping people out, I really do. Cause this content makes me zero money. Now let me go into that aspect of why. I, Cause I've talked about this before. When people, <clears throat> when people send music in, this is something that a lot of, you don't see Timberland doing this shit no more. Or Kitty Beats don't like to do this shit no more. Or, or a lot of the people that pretty much were doing it just because it was convenient for them to do it, don't do it as often, if not at all. And this is the main reason why. Most of the time, people sneak in little copyright claims, copyright strikes, all kinds of stuff. So that in itself hurts the viewership of these type of videos as well. And people do this willingly. They do it willingly, sending in music that they know that they have copyright claims for because they probably only got like one or two plays on them Spotify. And I'm dead ass. We all seen it. I, from, you know, when I'm not sitting here like talking shit. So people do not like this content. It has nothing to do with someone going to church on a Sunday. Most people don't go to church. I hate to say it. A lot of people out here are walking around here with no spiritual guide at all. <laughs> now, that, now that is big facts. A lot of people are worshiping their materialistic things on a Sunday and not Christ. <laughs> not a lot. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> but what's going on, uh, Perk Dog? Yeah. But yeah, I just wanna let you know that those are these are the, uh, the reasons why most people don't like to do these kind of shows or whatnot. There's another one too, um, because people like to scream and, and when you don't tell them that their music is uh, good when their music is maybe mids, then they get upset. <laughs> Thank you so much, DMG. But anyway, so let's go ahead and get into the show. I'm not, I'm not tripping, but I wanted to uh, show you guys some stuff. I mean, I could have Papa Watt. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, Papa. Hopefully, Papa Watt will pull up because I accidentally screwed him over last time. <clears throat> yeah, let's see. Uh, let's go. Ahead. I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke. Support. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, these shows definitely uh, do not get monetized, uh, and I try my best, but most of the time, I don't, I don't get anything from it. So, uh, do, do, do. uh, yeah, it's problematic. Bop. All right, so we're gonna start from 257. We already know Dick McGuffin, uh, he hovers over the thine. Let's so, uh, let's go ahead and play that and, uh, let's get it.
that was uh, that was okay i need damn i need to adjust my microphone or some damn uh that was my guy well that one that one dick mcguffin i don't think no, that wasn't Dick McGuffin. That was, I don't even know how to say your name. Uh, F-U-Y-U-A-I. Uh, last one dance. Uh, if it was Dick McGuffin, you know. But yeah, that shit was dope, though. It definitely reminded me of, salute to my badges up in here. Overlord, what's good? What's going on? Let me uh, actually get my damn... Oops. What the hell was that? <laughs> uh... That was Overlord, that was Overlord on, the on the track. What's going on, on, on with that? that? I mean, that wasn't I mean, Overlord. Overlord. That was, that was, that was, that was, that was brightish. brightish. Yeah. So yeah, it was a really dope beat. It do, it did remind me of something that was on the PlayStation or whatever. Uh, that that is one thing I I do. Feel in that regard, it sounded pretty good. You know, uh, there was a lot uh, clouding it up, but at the same time, yeah, it was actually pretty good. Yeah, like I don't have a, a this type this type of music I like anyways. It's it's good, chill, relax, read. And it's a whole lot going on with without uh, uh, not a whole lot going on. You know what I'm saying? It's a perfect balance of that stuff. So yeah, I like that. I hate how this shit has like a little bump in the beginning of it. I'm gonna see what I can do. I can fix my damn, that damn update. So I was supposed to click, uh, before I get to that, it was Dick McGuffin. I'm gonna get to the, the to the Discord in a second. I'm just letting the, the Discord lords uh, pull up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the people that are, are members or whatnot, the people that got badges. And if, if you don't have access to the Discord or whatnot, you can always uh, go to the channel. Uh, just click on my profile pic, uh, picture. Uh, Ab McCree and then let's go to the community tab and then you'll see the invite you know what I'm saying it's only for the members anyways only members can get that invite and then you can go in there and if you have any issues outside of that then of course you can always uh, hit me up or whatnot in here just let me know while I'm here good and active and I'll be able to do that but yeah let's go ahead to Dick McGuffin I thought that was Dick McGuffin at first I'm like damn Dick <laughs> like you, you want to switch up his damn, damn name uh, Green what's popping Say so what's the email to send music again? Uh, the email is this right here. It's uh, beatreviewstream at gmail.com. Uh, check the, uh, the information in the description box to find out all the information. Uh, I keep on telling myself that I'm going to uh, do a submission form. Uh, so that way when we go into these shows, it, it just could be quick, simple, quick. Uh, send, send music, uh, read description. Uh, please, I keep forgetting, but I, I'll do it. You know, I'm pinning up here. Then we got this uh, distracting thing right here. Uh, <laughs> let me see here. I saw a comment, but I'm waiting for uh, a, a major keys. <laughs> had a had a golden meme the other day. That shit was hilarious. That shit was hilarious. I was like, damn, I'd be feeling like that too. But at the same time, that makes me feel old because that's what it is. I be smoking, I be smoking. It's a damn shame as 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 much as a health nut I am uh, these days that I still smoke and that's crazy, right? But anyways, let's go ahead and get into Dick McGuffin because I ain't about to take up all, all y'all time. Join the I 
Now I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, this beat sounds like it's it's, it's a good general idea. <laughs> People are saying Chat GPT type beat. <laughs> um, it's a good idea, but it just sounds like the track is still starting. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what's going on, uh, Loku? Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. It said it's bad in a good way. <laughs> um, yeah, it just sounds like it's starting over and over again. Uh, not the best work I've heard from uh, from Dick McGuffin, to, to be honest, but, you know, whatever. Uh, all right, I'm going to do uh, Wavy Plute. Oh, no, 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 no. I just skipped one. Um, Richie Vibes. I clicked on that earlier. So let's go ahead and check out uh, Richie Vibes real quick. Let's see what that's about. That was Richie Vibes on the track. What do y'all think about, think that, about chat? that chat? Um, uh, one of the things that I, I, I heard, like the, the higher frequencies, they, they are distracting as hell. Um, but the overall idea and the, and the idea of the sound is pretty cool. It's just that it is very high frequency rich. And also with that too, uh, that I, one of the things I saw, even with it turned down, you can see that, you know, my vo my vocals are massively mono, you know, granted, uh, the stereo separation in that sound was pretty, it, it was far too much. You know what I'm saying? Like if you go to mono, you can barely hear it. You know what I'm saying? So I would be conscious of, you know, just working on that and uh, making sure that the sounds that you pick do not affect um, if they can be heard on any other system, especially on a smartphone. You will barely hear that sound. You know what I'm saying? Because the smartphones are usually mono based. So I would I'll be a little bit more conscious of that. <laughs> it sounds dysfunctional. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. As far as personal preference or whatnot, it, it, I, I can only refer back to uh, <laughs> matter of fact. Uh, let me go look that shit up. <laughs> it was a, uh, I'm gonna show y'all what uh, A major keys put up. I mean, I felt that only because I'm old, man. You know, just just slap me with the old people meme, and you know, I I'm, I would not be mad at you for uh, making that <laughs> a thing or whatnot. But yeah, <laughs> A major keys. He put out a, a a meme the other day. That shit had me dead. Um. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that be that be happy day because it was just just my vibe. <laughs> oh shit. And my ass, uh, I went to Atlanta the other day. <laughs> I went to Atlanta the other day. Yeah, follow A Major Keys on goddamn uh, <laughs> IG, yo. <laughs> and I went to Atlanta yesterday, tried to support 
uh, someone and whatnot. Uh, she's an R&B artist or whatever. Mind you, one, she was late to her own show. I was just like, you know what? Fuck all that. <laughs> Two, the venue was so goddamn small, man. It was ridiculous. And they had the nerve to have reserved seats in that small ass place. But what really kicked it off for me, what really had me just on tilt, not wasn't the, the live performances, wasn't the music. The music was okay. You know, modern day trap soul, R&B, you know, good, easy, somewhat easy to digest. It was the fact that the damn bartender charged me $12 for a shot of vodka. And this bitch, <laughs> and yes, I went there and said that. Yeah, I said it, motherfucker. This bitch had an attitude. I asked her, I was like, yo, can I just get a shot of vodka? She's like, okay, uh, we don't have no vodka. Now, and she's like, I had tequila. I was like, okay, can I get a shot of uh, tequila? And she's like, why you just want a shot of tequila? Huh, bitch? Because I don't want to fucking drink no fucking mixed drink, motherfucker. I don't want to drink that shit. It's better if you're going to drink. It's already unhealthy. I want to drink something straight. Straight, motherfucker. <laughs> why you want to drink it straight? Because it's healthier than putting sugar in your body and having fucking... Oh, my God. I didn't even want to go there. So I... Then I, I was like... You say you don't have any vodka. The vodka's right over here. Do you not know your... I was like, man, fuck this shit. Left. I just I said, fuck it. It left. And every damn woman in Atlanta that's in their 20s, some people in their goddamn 40s, why in the hell are you doing this shit? Especially the women. Like, why? Got blonde fucking wigs. Long ass fingernails. And, it, and I, I get it, the dudes, the every dude, dreadlocks. Like everybody, like all the females look like Summer Walker, all the dudes look like fucking little Uzi Vert. I, I was like, man, get the fuck out of here, I'm done. <laughs> I, I just left. I was like, well, I'm too, I'm, too, I'm too grown for this shit, like hella grown. I got gray hairs, yeah. Old ass nigga, I'll be. Anyways, back to it. Bro. Mingo, mingo, I'm gonna mingo, I'm gonna mingo. I'm gonna get in now, yeah. Shit. I do not want to pay for that shit. <laughs> yeah, what's going on, Paradox? I'm gonna get in now. I'm gonna get in now. I'm gonna get in now. Yo, we gonna check out <laughs> your man. The fuck? Me now. So I like the sound selection. That was your man. Your man. Your man. But uh, yeah, so it's supposed to be like a young thug gunner type track. So yeah, I, I definitely could hear them on that. Doing the ming gonna ming now. Yeah, if that was a joint, he said he used 43 tracks on the MPC. Wow. <laughs> I could barely use like seven or eight tracks on the MPC without it uh, going crazy. It, you must you must have it attached to the MPC software. Uh, that's the only way I can see that even working. Um, but uh, yeah, so 
Yeah, it's not all right. It, it, there was certain things I, I enjoyed about it. Probably just the uh, the layer of uh, of sounds. Yeah, the, the sound palette, and then the melt. Well, the progression made sense. Oh, you can Thank you for Thank the sub. Yeah, it made sense. So, yeah, not bad, not bad at all. I, I'd say that. I will. Get to it. Yeah. All right. So let me go into the accordion a disc. Okay. So there. Is, oh no, no. That's general. That's general right there. I don't expect people to drop something in the general. Here we go. So we got CJF music. I'm gonna go ahead and check uh, them out, and then I'm gonna check out uh, Overlord because I didn't get to check up, uh, check them out on Monday. Uh, members, you know, they have a priority because they do support this channel. I do appreciate that. Uh, getting a badge and you know, I try to scratch they back they bike Because they scratch mine you feel me? All right, let's uh, go on here. And let's get it. Let me turn up the volume You're a big girl now Fully grown with your hormones now Got your own home and you all alone when a bone when a bone get your back blown out uh, Little girl uh. You're a big girl now in a world where things make us foul. You could be a boy in the next Michael Jordan, and your man don't want to be You're around. A big girl now. She sexy, she got it, she ride it. Every nigga want to be inside no it. Uh. little girl. I need her, I eat her, do anything to please her. My ghetto queen of Sheba. I'm the type that'll get you by the fireplace. Get you hype when I lick it, put it by your face. Sipping red wine is a bad time. You can kick it with your nigga while we listen to faith. I'm feeling richer today. I can hit it to stay. Lingerie made me take it to the kitchen and play. We got champagne, whipped cream. I'ma grab the bucket of ice. Bubble bath running in the can of life. Feeling so right. It's your night. No stress, no fight. Mad at your ex because it's dough tight. Never go right. When you win them, try your best to forget them because it's easy to please me. CD skip when your headboard hit the wall. Call for the law. Right when you come, I'm biting your tongue. Make your legs cramp up. You can't stand up. You can hit a blunt that you want. I'ma pull my pants up. We can discuss or we gonna lust. On top of the trust, tell me what's the reason for us to love or the fuck. I'm a thug that you want. If it's gangster, we can't front. If you want me, I can stay around. If you need me, I'm here for you. How to sound? Now it's up to you. Depending on how you wanna get down. Cause you a big girl now. You're a big girl now. Fully grown with your hormones now. Got your own home and you all alone. When a bone, when a bone, get your back blown out. It's little girl. Big girl now in the world where these niggas foul. You could be a boy in the next Michael Jordan. Your man don't want to be You're around. Big girl now. She sexy. She got it. She ride it. Every nigga if I'm not mistaken, that's Nas. Uh, not one of my favorite songs by him either. Uh, but, eh, uh, I think the track is okay. It's a different look at a, a track or whatnot. Elbow Joe, what's going on? Yeah, uh, so this, this that's Nas, bro. Um, <laughs> it's Nas. So I will, I will hope that Nas have a, a flow. <laughs> the man got like eighty thousand albums. <laughs> What's going on? Um, yeah, not bad, not bad though. I did like the the way, the, but I don't think it fits the actual lyrical content though. Yeah, I I can't remember what album it was on. It wasn't. Yeah, it, yeah, say so yeah. I've, I've, I've been listening to Nas forever, ever. I've had every single album from him. <clears throat> yeah. I think it, what was it, Nostradamus or something like that? Either Nostradamus or what is it, a Godson or something. Nostradamus, yeah. Yeah, I listened to Nostradamus so many damn times. I figured it was, it was one of those joints. <clears throat> yeah, see, I'm not, I'm not a fair weather hip hop fan. I'm not one of these, uh, I'm not a casual fan of hip hop. <laughs> so you didn't like that album too much uh it, it was definitely not one of his biggest not one of his best prize of work i think he had lost he had lost a little bit of his fire uh until jay-z said something about him and then he kind of you know with uh still matic he brought a little it put a lot of fire back into it you know what i'm saying as you would hope because lord you can't just have have someone that's as big as you just just pop that shit and you not do nothing about it anyways let's go ahead and get to that overlord joint <clears throat> and uh let's hear it
that was a big tease of a beat. But yeah, nice joint. Washed, washed away by Overlord. What y'all think about that? That was pretty good. That was pretty wavy. I, I, I agree. You know, wavy emojis are appropriate for that. <clears throat> we on to something now. I feel, you know. Uh, damn, I had to stretch, boy. That just lets you know. Yeah, yeah. I think the biggest selling point of this joint was definitely the uh, the drum pattern. Um, the chord progressions were pretty good. I thought it was a little loud. You know what I'm saying? I know you... you when we were making tracks or whatnot, we want the melodics to be heard. But uh, usually I try to tuck it a little underwear, underwards. But that's the only complaint I really have. But other than that, though, that, that's that work. But Overlord's pretty consistent. Um, you know, he stays tried and true to what he does. So that's one thing I've always enjoyed about uh, hearing his pieces of work. So that is for sure. That was good. Um, let me see here. I'm gonna get back bike on to y'all. Um, and now we got Matthew here. I uh, appreciate the heart there. I'm only listening to one of your joints. And you had to say, man, sent me his whole entire library and shit. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. Let's get it. I run it back. It had that uh that A major keys. Me with a mom and a mean now. But uh yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, you know some of the I think some of the sounds are a little bit too high in the in the key register. You know it, that and it gives it kind of a distracting uh, loudness. But uh, other than that, though, the vibe in itself was put together pretty good, uh, to be honest. Uh, I thought it was a, a pretty decent track. You know what I'm saying? You just want to kind of be more conscious of when you make beats. And it was something that I used to do a lot. Boy, I, I was listening to my old beats the other day. I, it was so hard not to delete them just off the strength. Because I'm like, damn, what was I thinking when I was younger? And I think... It has to do with just what your your palate can take when you're when you're younger. You have a you can take a little bit more higher frequencies than other people uh, that are older. You know, when you're older, you just enjoy uh, a lower frequency content. I'm not talking about just like bass, but just like a lower <clears throat> octave. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, I thought it was pretty good. It's pretty good. He says an undercover Beethoven. Hilarious! Hilarious! All right, let's go ahead and get into some more shite. Let's get into some more shite. We're about 36 minutes in, so we'll be doing good on time. Um, Let's get it. This is Hawkins. I just say nothing happened, and it says nothing happens overnight. Uh, produced by Rent is the name. So let's go ahead and check the, that out real quick. <laughs>
was Wave, wave, no, that was, no, that was produced by Rent. I was looking at Wavy Pluto's comment and stuff like that. I was about to comment in, and, you know, how your mind just kind of overlaps. But I thought it was, <clears throat> melodically, I thought it was pretty decent. You know, drum selection was all right. Um, <clears throat> the only thing that was very distracting was, again, the, the higher frequency content, uh, the way that it was mixed. You could tell that there was some things going on that, that, that needs to be adjusted. Mainly just the musical instruments are too loud and that's very distracting and probably the overall track in itself was a little louder than necessary so uh, that was uh, very distracting but the idea was excellent in my opinion so you know to each his own but I think it's pretty good not bad not bad so I think I already did you uh, Wavy Pluto. Uh, maybe I didn't, I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and click on that joint real quick. So this is Wavy Pluto. We're gonna check and see if this is it. Let's get it. Oh, we did not hear this. Wavy Pluto, you did? Official it at gmail.com. That was Choo Choo Ride It by, by Wavy, Wavy Pluto. Pluto. What y'all think about that? I thought it was pretty good. I think the idea of it would work in, you know, like the whole scam rap culture vibes and stuff like that. Like someone like from Miami or something like that. I mean, I think the sample itself comes from uh, 95 South. Uh, it was one of their last big records during the 90s or whatnot so i like the implementation of that um and yeah i think one of these modern trash ass female rappers would would kill that shit you know what i'm saying i don't fuck with that shit but uh <clears throat> that doesn't stop it from being from me recognizing that it has potential uh for that for the most part and i, I respect the, the idea said it sounds loot too much well that's the point of when you're making a track for an artist it's not supposed to be extravagant and like a freaking Beethoven beat, uh, type beat, or you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, minim minimalism is something that is important when you're structuring a track for someone to sing on, rap on, or whatever the hell people call it these days. Uh, it will never, that aspect will never change. The simpler, the more efficient, the better, and more likely people will get on it because it has to be catchy. And then this has the catchy, the catchy aspect of it. Loop home. 
I see you. Damn. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. All right. All right. I saw you uh, send some stuff in quarter notes. We are gonna get to it in a second. Nah, we, it, we'll get to it when we get to it. Um, someone made a dono and it didn't pull up. I don't know why it didn't. Okay, Lions did. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make sure that I get Lions taken care of uh, real quick, guys. You know, I appreciate that dono. Um, there we go. Three thirty-three. Oh, look at that angel numbers. You know what I mean? Let's get it. Um, all right. Hey, yo, Lions, what you cooking, boy? That was Lions beat on the track. What y'all think about that chat? Um, <laughs> uh, definitely early 2000s vibe. That was that was right on the tip of my tongue. That's what I was thinking the whole entire time. It reminds me of like a mixture of Shakespeare and uh, Scott Storch. You know what I'm saying? Kind of kind of those type of vibes, like uh, very poppy and so forth. I remember when that music was really popping. When the when the Triton. <laughs> When everybody was riding the Triton heavy, or, or the Trinity rack, that that was the vibes at that particular time. So um, I, I get I get the the concept of the track in itself, but it was it was extremely nice. Um, frequency wise, it wasn't too bad. I mean, the overall track was loud, but man, I'm telling you, I think it's more unlikely just the way that tracks are sent in, and when you're listening to them and through compression and all this other stuff, you know, it's just, you know. So the Triton is a year older than you? Damn. <laughs> uh, when did the Triton come, come come out for a Triton? I'm just gonna type it in real quick. I just segue. Let's get a little, let's learn some shit. Uh the core Triton. Uh I know it has the year. Uh released in 2000. Yep. See, I I, I be knowing. Your boy be knowing, man. I, I'm old as shit, you feel me? But, you know, the history of gear, this right here, if it's like, man, you will see people walk out of studios if they didn't have a Core Triton. And mind you, I think the price point of the Core Triton still is, it's still pretty high. Look at that, the Triton Spring, the Stream, Triton Studio. And this was your, pretty much your studio at that particular time because you could record vocals in that some bitch too, you know what I'm saying? Like that, that was a, a big part of, of music in that time period. And you already know, if you don't know, I, I did a video when, when the VST plugin came out, it, it was a streaming popular. Oh, thank, thank you for the soul. Uh 70% of the Neptune's hits, like 100% of the Neptune's hits, but uh, in reality, it was uh, like everybody had this damn thing because it, it could do a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? It was like, technically, it was like an MPC, but with sounds, you feel me? Um, the sampler on there was trash, though. But, you know, if you if you knew, you knew. But most people didn't go that far outside of the presets or what, whatever. So um, that's why, you know, you feel uh, things were a certain way. You know what I mean? But this thing is a beast. Uh, nonetheless, it's the, the workstation in itself. That's why it was such a big deal for when the MPC, uh, when the Kai dropped the MPC Key 61. Because it was a damn sampler, but it had the MPC workflow, but it was also like a workstation and uh, easier workstation to work um, at that. Uh, the Triton. 
I had the these sounds. Matter of fact, most producers they just had they had an MPC and a Triton rack. You know what I'm saying? They would do the sequencing on the MPC and they would then just use the sounds on the Triton and boy. <laughs> boy. Trust me, if there was <laughs> if I could get my hands on a truck, man, matter of fact, fuck that. Give me a second, guys. I just gotta know. I gotta know. I gotta know. Cork Triton used. Wow. Whoa. No way. Damn. No way. This just gotta be sold. What the fuck? No way in hell. Oh, no, no, no. That shit is... This motherfucker really trying to get rid of this son, bitch. $650? That is a steal. Man, these things... These things right here... And this and this motherfucker right here stole my idea from my video, but he did a great job of it. Uh, I, when I started seeing Reverb, like, copy my videos and, and my ideas and concepts, I was like, all right. So I'm, I'm really starting to have an effect on the platform. But damn. God damn, dude. That is a, that would make for a great ass video. But yeah, that core Triton needs to hold a lot of people down. Let's get to this low frequency though, because that's more important. Sorry about that, guys. Buzz music, Buzz salute. music salute. salute. Definitely wouldn't Definitely mind listening to that, that again. again. Low frequency Low on the track, what y'all think about that? that? A lot of good things I can say about this track. Huh? Yeah, it was smooth. And then of course he took the idea uh, from that track. I can't even think of the name of the song itself in the, in the group, but um, but uh, yeah, definitely had a bit of its inspiration and a twist on that original flow. Um, but other than that though, I, I like it uh, a lot. You know, some things clearly was glaringly uh, an issue with the mix, but other than that though, uh, the track in itself was banging. Um, if, and I saw people like, man, those sounds, uh, if y'all, if you don't know, uh, that Jura plugin from Akai, or really from Air Music Technology or whatnot, that you can put into the MPC and standalone and, and then buy the VST pl uh, plugin version, uh, loop home, what's going on, oh, broski? Oh no, no, it's not. Uh, it's not computer love. It's not computer love. Uh, uh, I definitely know. <laughs> I definitely know it's not that I, SOS band. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. But yeah. Um. Uh, in that sense, though, uh, as far as the mix, that's what we was talking about. The mix. Uh, it was. It was loud as shit. I will say that. I will say it was extremely loud. So, granted that uh, all the things was in putting together. My bad. Like, I, I'm getting message galore. Uh, uh, I figured that. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I like the vibes of this. I just wanted to let it ride out for a little bit, man, uh, to be honest. But, yeah, I, I would definitely kind of uh, work on the mix. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, we guess I, I knew someone was going to ask me about that. I, I'm going to tell you all uh, what it is about some of these leaks and stuff like that. And people just <laughs> saying that certain things is, exist or whatever. And I'm just going to tell you right now. Um, and there is no NPC mini coming. There's no NPC mini coming. It was supposed to, if, if technically it would have been announced during now. Now, I would love to be wrong, but I've asked around. I've asked around. And I, out of all the people that would know for real, I would have done some type of video or something alluding to it. Uh, and I've asked a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, there's not, there's, there's no NPC mini coming. Uh, now, I would say that there was a device released, what, a year ago with the NPC Studio Mark II. I would keep an eye on that. I'm going to, I I keep on forgetting to make a video just telling you guys, like, did, you, you should understand, like, how businesses work or, or how companies work. Uh, and with Akai, if you look at how the NPC Live uh, developed into the NPC Live 2, uh, before it was the NPC Live, it was the NPC Touch. And you know what I'm saying? They carried that pr that same format over and, and made gradual improvements, clearly just making a standalone and stuff like that. What's going on, Gary Smith? How you doing? I, I saw you that you sent some stuff in. So I, I wouldn't have my hopes up for that. Uh, for a mini MPC or whatnot. I know people are talking about stuff and miniature things and all that, but the amount of money that they had to pour into developing a new device, especially if it's going to be a mini version of it, they have certain pieces, and you look at the other pieces of units that exist right now, they pretty much carry the same kind of uh, OS and all that. Uh, it's just not, I don't, it's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. But I, I could confirm it for you guys. It's just not going to happen. Uh, I would love to be wrong. Trust me. And being wrong does not hurt my feelings. You feel me? Uh, but anyways, let's get back to this music, though. Um, let's go ahead and check out uh, Lit Up 7. Let's get it. Elevation. That was, that was lit up, lit up. Seven, seven with elevation. elevation. What y'all think, think about that? that? Uh, pretty smooth joint. It's a lot that I, I like about 
how it was coming off in terms of uh, the, the song structure or whatnot. You know, uh, mix-wise, it was, it was uh, mix was a little questionable. You know, I looked at it and saw that the sound feel was spread, but when I listened to it, it, it wasn't so distracting in mono or what, or I could hear things in mono. So, you know, a lot of that was good in that regard. So, yeah, I thought it was a pretty decent joint. So, yeah, um, pretty good, pretty good. Pretty schmoo, schmoo shit. All right, we got Elbow Joe up in this bitch. Let's see what, Let's he, see got what he got for us. For us. That was, that was, that was, that was Elbow, Elbow Joe, Joe, Joe. MF, MF Doom, Doom type beat from Tropolis. From Tropolis. What y'all think? What y'all think? I thought it was pretty cool. I like the way it started off with the bass line. You know, it makes me want to pick up my bass guitar and play it. <laughs> Something I should do. I, <laughs> I don't even want to get into it. Well, why, sh why I haven't been. But, um, yeah, there was a whole lot to like, especially with the sample selection in, in general, and then the pacing, like the tempo of it, very different than usual. Nice little bop. Um, a lot to be said that I, I mean, I just thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, and I greatly appreciate the submission. Yeah, so good shit, uh, Elbow Joe. So we got, to well, let me check my um, Discord. Okay, the Discord is, is quiet, cool. All right, so we have uh, Kill Styles production. Oh, okay, so this is uh, Attila. And right, we're gonna check out Attila, let's get it.
That was Attila. That was Attila. Attila doing what he does best. Uh, yeah, pretty good joint, man. See, you know, there's a an adult way to be conservative about how you are putting out your melodics. Uh, when, when you're doing your track or whatnot. And, and usually, man, what most people, and I've told people several times, I even tell myself, like, not to go over a certain amount of tracks to achieve something unless it's, like, some layering involved, and usually it's subtle layering. Uh, but, yeah, you, you can get a lot done from doing something that's very simple, man. Uh, I remember just being one of those people where I would say some shit like, ah! Ah, man, I'm better than this person and that person, and I gotta, you know, ah, ah. Just be whining about shit, you feel me? And I kid you not, usually. Usually it's just a, a big waste of time, you know what I mean? Uh, when you are adding so much of that extra shit to your tracks. But, uh, yeah, this is a good example of just, just making something simple and effective you know what i'm saying if you just count count how many instruments that you put in your track uh you know you, you'll understand you know there's only a few that you really need if you just look at a basic band you'll understand that concept too as well like bands don't be a whole massive conglomerate you know i don't orchestra orchestra music is different but even then uh the way that the composition is played is very simple all right, so we have Andre, Andre Mack coming, coming, coming up. Sexual, Sexual feeling, feeling is the name of the track. Of the track. Let's get Let's it. Get it. That was that Andre was Mack Andre on the track. Mack. What y'all think, think, think about that? I think it's pretty, it was really good. It was really good. It's an awesome piece. Um, I love the sound selection and all that. It definitely harkens back to the, the late 90s, early 2000s type production. Um, so, you know, uh, it had, that has a special place in my heart. Um, I don't think many people in this uh, time period could appreciate something like that unless it had like a spin zeta weight or some dumb shit in there. You know what I'm talking about? But uh, I do appreciate the, uh, that kind of uh, production. You know what I'm saying? Uh, very, it was very crispy, even though like uh, some of the instrumentation could use a little dialing down uh, because uh, again, people got to sing on it and stuff like that. And this is something that'd be worth it. You feel me? Uh, in that aspect. And then you got a nice little bridge in there. So you, you did some work. You put in some work on this joint. Uh, and yeah, honestly, uh, probably the best track I've heard all day one of the best tracks i heard all day that is you know what i'm saying uh, definitely a classic bridge you know <clears throat> but you hear the animal sounds yeah i just heard the animal sound in there what, what the fuck why would you want to highlight that part <laughs> the fuck <laughs> you hear the animal sounds no i hear the the massively traditional and smooth R&B chord progression, that is what, ear candy. 
<laughs> they find out that Andre Mack is fucking uh, Timberland and shit on, under a burner account or some shit. <laughs> All right, that's what's up, Gary. That's what's up. All right, let's go ahead and check out uh, Gary real quick. Uh, he, he usually doesn't um, uh, send stuff in, so let's get him out the way. So. sound selection was good it, there, there's things that i would say like as far as like um leveling like the instrumentation you can hear kind of the clutterness uh, of the track or whatnot uh if the damn if my damn uh insight was better than what it is you can see that there's there's quite clutter there's a lot of cut ah i can't even talk like the melodics are actually overtaking uh the the drums and your drums should be should have massive peaks like in contrast to like what uh i hate to compare on what andre mack did to your your joint or whatnot but his like just in his structure of his progressions there was enough space in his track you know what i'm saying and you have a lot of instrumentation and stuff like that hey, hey man what's man, going on what's salute to the bad man hey, hey i'm gonna check you out um but so I would definitely uh, look at turning down the instrumentation so that it, the proper room is there. But the idea is pretty nice. It's, it's cool. Yeah, I, I like the idea and the concept behind it. All right, so I'm gonna go to the Discord real quick. I see that Bam came in here. We, we got smooth. We got some smooth shit. Uh, the title of the track is Sophia. Let's get it. Fox on the track, what y'all think, think about that? Smooth, Smooth operator. operator. Yeah. So, I mean, the highlights of it is very smooth. Uh, I did I did like the uh, the mix of the track too as well, uh, along with the sound selection and, and the Vox. Uh, the Vox complements uh, a lot of the groove, especially the, the drum pattern too. The drum pattern uh, kicked off into some nice shit, uh, just to be kind of, you know, arbitrary with the words or whatnot. So. Yeah, I, I definitely enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed the piece in itself. He said, this is something I got commissioned to produce for some event. Yeah, he, he little, little flex there. 
a little this core flex. I, I like that. I like that for you. Uh, but yeah, pretty good joint. Uh, Tyrone Sellers, what's going on? Say, need my MPCX Masterclass, but until then, FL Gang Gang, you son of a bitch. But uh, yeah, yeah, uh, appreciate that, Ty uh, Tyrone. Uh, I'm broke, some... nigga, I'm broke! Need my MPCX Masterclass, but until then, Florida Gang Gang. Chad, <laughs> see how I said Florida Gang Gang, not FL Gang? Ah! The AI played you on that one. Uh, anyways, uh, uh, did, did my mic just go crazy on me? Uh, mic check, mic check, mic check, mic check. Oh, it, it just folded into my damn workout hoodie. Oh man, speaking of workout, I cannot wait to uh, start my Monday off good with some uh, arms, abs, and some and some chest work exercises. Boy, I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna go up about five pounds and uh, challenge myself. You'd be surprised, man. What? Have five pounds can just adding five pounds to your your lifting routine could really become a difficult task. Yeah, I'm, I, I what I what I do like in preacher curls, I almost uh, curl about a hundred pounds in preacher curls. Uh, like my arms are probably the biggest thing on my fucking body. <laughs> my chest is alright, you feel me, but uh. My arms are just ridiculous. Uh, sorry about that. My eye itching. Yeah, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do a master. I, I'm I've been talking about doing this damn MPCX master class yesterday. I wasted all that damn time going out, and I just reminded myself of how I just do not like to go out and uh, check out people's events. Uh. Uh, oh, hey, Dr. Indy, appreciate that. Um, let's go ahead and check out Az Azai. Azai. Let's go. Discovering every skill that is now yours. Destiny. The reason they distress, carry on your session. Lyrical marksman, yeah, I'm from Smith and Wesson. And all your insecurities, quick successions like Perception. Life was still destined, my birth redemption, my inception. Niggas, they dreaming flow, leave you shaking like the Caprio, sweating and fiending. So they envy, I guess. All this green brought on vexation, them red eye. Rather witness me fall to my demise. The phoenix at the ashes, so still I rise. Yo, homie, I ain't your hop. I'm just a child of destiny, so I'm rightfully in at the top. And Now, if I can interject on this uh, joint right here, these, these are some suggestions I would do. Let me turn this down just a little bit. Um, that was the Destiny's Child Master Prince by BNDL, the acronym, which I do not know what the acronym means. So let me know in the chat uh, what the acronym means. Um, now. The, the biggest issue with this is you, you could barely, like Gary, I don't know how in the world Gary Smith, unless he's trolling, I don't know how you can hear any of, thing, of the things that it, this person is saying. And again, when you have a track and you are rapping over it, and this is why I talk it to you guys and repeat this all the time. And I'm, I mean, I don't have a problem re with repeating myself because not everybody tunes in every single time. Uh, it's important not to have large, loud uh, musical instruments when an artist, or, or when you're making a track. People can hear it. Oh, it means boundless. Okay, no doubt. That's what's up. Um, so, you want to be heard. Like, I can't hear you in stereo. I can't hear you in mono. So, those are things that are, that, need, that needs to be adjusted. It needs to be adjusted. So, that's the only thing that I would, I would recommend because I can't really comment on the lyrical content because it's kind of being drained out by the musical content, you feel me? So um, that's that's important, you know what I'm saying? Like the vocal is, I hate to say it, you know, for you know all the producers out there, 
when you are working with an artist, they're they're probably a, more important than your track. I get it. Even with the type music out there, they're is important because it's adding a melodic to the track. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, appreciate the heart. <laughs> But yeah, you just definitely want to, you want the artist to be heard, uh, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Because it's kind of an insult to them. They're wasting their time because they're, it's like meshed together. Say, so what kind of beat? Uh, oh, you didn't. Hold on. I, I'll, I'll show you. Hold on. Let me, let me grab it for Bam. Bam one here for the, uh, the early banter or whatnot, the short banter. Let me pull up my Instagram real quick. Uh, I'm probably gonna just repost it on my Instagram. I'm gonna get back on that wave. I just don't like taking people's uh, stuff anymore because I end up blowing a, a lot of people's shit up. And then and then uh, when when they catch an attitude, they take that blow up, that glow up, and then they try to just shit on me. So, but uh, anyways, uh, this is what we was looking at earlier, uh, and uh, I was showing them. This is uh, A Major Music's. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god if that ain't the fucking truth and you know what i'm saying take a little bit of trolling but you know what i'm saying i know uh, that music is popular and there's certain music I like. Like, I like the pink, uh, the pink tape by Little Uzi Vert. I actually was going crazy and was all over social media saying, like, nah, this is a, nah, this is a project. I love, I love Little Uzi Vert. Out of all the, the, the rappers uh, these days, he's one of the rappers I can deal with. Same thing with, like, Kodak Black. And Kodak Black isn't a, isn't a me, 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 type rapper. But Little Uzi Vert is definitely a me, 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 type motherfucker. Uh, you know, but <laughs> anyways, let's get back to it. This is Mike. <laughs> Why the fuck I knew it, the irony. Playboy Cardi is definitely a mean, my mean, my mean, my type person. And I don't like his music at all. I think it's whack. much there but uh that was mike Mar romero with a very super minimalistic track uh what y'all think about that so yeah yeah it, it, that is one of those type tracks where uh it, it's it's minimalistic in a sense but there's there needs to be a little more uh in it uh, but I do understand the general idea as I'm uh, as I'm sitting here talking like Jamerson with my fucking uh, uh, cigar in my mouth. Uh, <laughs> there's definitely a, a amount of charm that could be could be done a little bit more. Uh, the idea uh, in itself probably can be lived out better if if it was for I don't know an artist being on it. Yeah. So you know there's a lot to be desired in it but it's not a it's not a bad idea or whatnot it's just i was looking for a little bit more all right coop uh copa is it, it might be copa all right or koopa 
Uh, but yeah, French beat maker. Let's get let's let's get let's get it. So that was a pretty good track, uh, Copa. That was Copa right there on the track. And what y'all think about that? Simple, effective, you know? I like to hear the, the clap a little bit more in the mix, but you know, other than that, uh, I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. All right, so that was Copa there. Um, let's move it on forward here and let's get to Jackson. Boom, let's get to that. Uh, all right, uh, SoundCloud link. Uh, and we'll wait for that to load on up. Uh, let's see here. Uh, fuck SoundCloud. Anyways. So the track took forever to start. Let's just start right there. Look, I understand that people have gotten to this thing where you have these massive intros and then you have like a disgusting drop or whatnot, but that wasn't, uh, the intro wasn't even worth listening to to get to this type of drop, which has massive dynamic range issues. Uh, but the basic ideas are, are honestly pretty decent. Uh, they're just not well ex executed in a sense. But that won't stop anybody from listening to it because just because one snarkly YouTuber that's reviewing people's music doesn't uh, get it doesn't mean that, you know, your natural everyday listener won't enjoy it. So don't, don't, don't take what I'm saying uh, with a grain of salt or whatever or do. I don't, I don't, but it's not, it's not garbage. It just took forever to get there. Anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and get to another track here. And uh, what's that? Yeah, next up. All right, so let's go ahead and check this out.
I mean, I can I can point out what what is the idea, pretty decent, but you can tell that there's there's mixing issues in a sense, and I get that it's supposed to be like some dark uh, emo type trap shit, but you definitely want to uh, execute a, be a better mix so you can hear the vocal performance because. I was not even expecting vocals to be on this. And when it got there, it was just like, what? Like, I can't hear this motherfucking. Eh, that might be what y'all are into now. It's like super distorted shit. But hey, uh, I would definitely be conscious of, you know, the lover, music lovers and, or your uh, potential fan base being able to digest what you're saying. But if they can't hear it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but. The idea is pretty good, and the vocals in itself uh, would be appreciated a whole lot more if uh, you can hear it. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing. It's like, damn, I can't hear the vocals. God damn. You know what I'm saying? That bass is kicking, though. God damn. The bass hitting like a motherfucker. Uh, uh, but yeah, yeah, pretty good, though. Um, it just There's a lot to be worked on in that mix. You feel me? All right, so, boy. Uh, oh, okay. I was about to say posture. Um, let's go ahead and check that out. It's a SoundCloud link. SoundCloud, cloud of sound. Let's get it. Posture on the track, very weird. I like it. <laughs> very weird, very weird. But uh, something sinister, uh, sinisterly—that's not even a word. Sinister and cool about it. I like it. I, I like it a lot. It kind of represents kind of that that pocket in the in the '90s uh, that didn't get it more industrial than anything that I enjoy it. Like Nine Inch Nails, you know what I'm saying? I'm a huge Nine Inch Nails fan, by the way. So, um, kind of hear a lot of uh, Trent Reznor's inspiration in that. I like it. So, why so detuned that sometimes? I don't know, probably uh, maybe because he's using analog gear or something like that. And analog gear has a, a weird quirk like that when you're making your tracks and stuff like that. Posture, oh damn, I didn't even know you had a badge up in there. Uh, big thanks. Say, so gotta keep it weird, thank you, big ups. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so trying. I think I, what I need to realize uh, with making new content, not everything has to be overly produced in terms of just like media side of it. And just get to it, you feel me? I, I think, let me run that shit back while I'm talking about this shit. So it sounded like a Roland 303, maybe. Yeah, it does have that kind of a vibe to it, or, or you, that uh that new joint that they have. I bought it, uh, the T3. The T3 has a mixture of the the TB 303 or whatever I think it's proper name for it. But uh, yeah, I, I love when you program bass. Something about programming bass like by step makes it kind of fun because you, you're really just relying on um, playing with the parameters at that point. Say, oh yeah, the Behringer one? Oh yeah. 
Yeah, that bear, that new one that uh, that Barringer released. I love the color scheme. Um, even though I fell back in love with the cream gray type look of gear again, I love the way that they made that smoke black and gray. You know what I'm saying? Uh, fuck what everybody got to say about that company or whatnot. They be making they they be making the shit that people want. You feel me? Said so just keep it fresh and don't think too much. Uh, the initial writing process, uh, the sounds just picks uh, themselves out. Uh, no doubt. I always could use good advice for sure. Um, let's keep it going. Um, I'm, cause I'm really it's about an hour and thirty minutes in, uh, and we're kind of getting in the weeds of things. I've seen quarter note beats been up in here for a while, and you know I just want to make sure that I listen to their music. Not bad, not bad, quarter note beats. Uh, I'm glad I finally got to listen to your track. You'd be up in here all the goddamn time, to be honest. Almost every single one of these shows. And I, I don't really get to do it. I, I, I greatly appreciate uh, all the members and whatnot that have been, you know. Okay, so so we do have uh, somebody that's a member that uh, slid up in there. Uh, LD40 Productions. But uh, I, I appreciate that the members are, are sitting back and relaxing and doing stuff. But I did a show on Monday. Uh, in terms of the mix, though, uh, that that is probably the, the most problematic part of the track. But uh, as far as like the ideas, the concept, the melodics and stuff like that, the sound selection, drums, oh, you know, okay, you know, you're just trying to do the trap thing, you know, trap thing. No, it's only so much we could do with the trap beats and shit these days, anyway. So I'm, I'm not holding that against you. Uh, but I thought the ideas and stuff, the concept was pretty damn good. Um, you know, certain things mix wise, you probably want to tone down. Uh, and that's just in the melodic sense, but yeah, other than that though, it's pretty damn good. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check out the Discord real quick, you know, I gotta check out LD40 up in this bitch. Let's get it. Tough. I ain't gonna even lie to you. Ray Shrimmer, that's a name I ain't heard in a while. God damn. 
But yeah, yeah, pretty good. I honestly thought it was some uh, really good ideas uh, portrayed in this. You know, Egyptian scale. I thought that was pretty uh, good implementation of that. There's a song that was popular uh, this year or last year. I hated it, but uh, it, it carries about the same undertones in terms of the chord progression. Uh, but I like this a whole lot better. I just didn't like that song because it just sounded so fucking corny. Uh, but I think a lot of things on the radio sound corny for a reason. It's just not meant for me. Uh, but yeah, a lot of good uh, mix fairly well. And, and I totally understand that you put it on YouTube and YouTube just fucks up audio for <laughs> for fuck's sakes. Unless you unless you're using like a like video editing software, that's the only way that you can get something redeemable out of it. Uh, by, again, hitting it with a compressor before you upload it to YouTube. That's usually the case, but it sounds better in Twitch. All right, then, let's go ahead and check out this. I don't know how to say your name. Um, I'm waiting for Buzz Music, so hurry the hell up, my, my dude. Um, and, uh, yeah. Thank you, Uh How do you join the Discord? Uh, well, if you are... First, you gotta become a member on this channel. You have to be on a, and I, I just didn't feel like going through the spiel today, and I do apologize. Sometimes the energy be like that. But if you wanna become a member on this channel or whatnot, you have to do it on a desktop or a I'm laptop. Broke, nigga, I'm broke. Love this content. How can I join the Discord again? But uh, joining the Discord is a pretty simple process. If you wanna become a member of this channel, that's one of the benefits. So if you are on a desktop or a laptop computer, you can pull up YouTube and just go to uh, where it says subscribe. It should be a join button. You join and become a member. Then you have access to not only uh, the Discord where you can just go to the community tab. You have access to that. And you can have access to tons of free samples and tools and stuff like that that uh, are only available to the members. So if you are a member and you didn't know that, you can go to my YouTube channel and go to the community tab and download shit. Uh, <clears throat> and that that was, yeah, it's some pretty good fire shit on there. I wouldn't sleep on it. Um, also, yeah, uh, you can, there's a Discord invite link. The most recent one is the way that you do that. And if you can't uh, access it after that, because it's supposed to automatically add you. That's the way I programmed it uh, when I was writing the uh, actual code to add uh, from YouTube. If that and this, that's basic, that's basic code uh, aspect. If you do this, then this happens and so forth. Uh, but yeah, it should add you automatically, but it just doesn't add you I, I, like immediately. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and continue this joint. Thank you so much for that question. Uh, Xylem, what's going on? Pulling up a life dream. Did your bitch not just get in no peace? We're trying to flick on me, I stay on fleet. Purple soda, get in, I'll be about to leave. Nothing like I made my dream, I don't believe. Yeah, breaking all the boundaries. Yeah, my rhymes are fire, they burn calories. Yeah, I stay flying. Honestly, I think that's a pretty good joint. That was, I don't even know how to say the name. I do apologize, but it's called Three Live. And yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, man. Uh, I thought it was a pretty good joint. Uh, many blessings to uh, the mix 
because I was able to hear your vocals, you know? Even though it's a little mini, 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 now, it's, you said you're 16, <laughs> that's what's up. That is That explains the young voice. But uh, yeah, really dope shit though. And, and thank you so much for the uh, the $2 donation. I greatly appreciate that. Hey, I couldn't say anything uh, during uh, the listening to Travis Scott Tissue. But yeah, not bad, not bad. That was not a bad joint. So I'm gonna check and see if Buzz has dropped something. Okay, Buzz has dropped something. Thank goodness. Uh, let's get it. That was Buzz music on the track. What y'all think, think, think about that? Yeah, I like it. I like it so far. Uh, there was there was a lot I liked about it. Of course, I like the approach. Uh, I was expecting a little bit more cynical uh, bass, a sinister bass to it. I, I do like the vibe, so uh, nonetheless, I, I was expecting a whoop 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 FM uh, FM warble bass or some shit. Whoop whoop. I was expecting some whoops, some whoop whoop. You know, but uh, I know that will get that will kind of intervene with what the basic concept of this track was. Uh, I did uh, peep when I was listening to it in uh, mono uh, that uh, the Vox used uh, in the track was a bit out of the sound field. So I, I would be conscious of uh, taking a little bit of stereo separation away from that or if not trying to force it mono. But other than that, though, it, it sounded pretty good. Uh, in that sense, though, uh, I, I want to say thanks to everybody that uh, has contributed today. It's about an hour and 43 minutes in. Um, I, I thank everybody that pulled up to the show. I'm um, looking at the statistics for what they are. 54 people concurrent, uh, 52 likes. I greatly appreciate that. And, you know, I appreciate the donos and support and stuff like that. No new members today, but hey, that's cool with me. I, I appreciate all the members that pulled up just to, uh, to check it out. Uh, this show in itself again uh like i was telling damn who was i talking to earlier about this shit fuck see this is what happens when you get old uh these shows don't necessarily do very well uh matter of fact i end up usually losing a subscriber or two during um the the stint of these shows like most people do not want to tune in to listen to other people's music or whatnot and i get it you know uh people don't necessarily uh i mean one it all comes down to if I had had a bigger name, because it's always something. It's, it's never enough. I, I'll be at like a hundred thousand subscribe. I mean, well, I am at a hundred thousand subscribers. Damn, I'll be at like a million subscribers, and then someone will say, "Well, someone's at ten million subscribers, and you know they're better than you," and you know that kind of deal. And uh, and these type of shows, again, I'm probably thinking about just like moving it over to another channel. Uh, and, uh, 
allowing people to, to swim in over there when I do a live, I, I can announce it on this channel. You know, I, it's not like I don't have uh, a multitude of ways to promote something. Um, but yeah, uh, I do appreciate everybody. Very good stuff, man. It's not easy to share your music with the world or with the 54 of us that are in here. Um, everybody has some type of opinion. It's very critical or whatnot. Uh, but you know, uh, the thing I can say, the, the courage is the first part, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so it wouldn't be my second. It would be like my fourth, uh, because all right. So basically the, the conglomerate as of right now, I have like, actually I have five channels, but, the, uh, the, the ones that I I'm frequent on and one I need to be frequent on, uh, one is dark coffee radio. The other one is 16 levels, which makes sense. Uh, because that's the place where, you know, I, uh, we have sample packs and, and courses and, and, you know, preset banks and so forth. You know, it's something I've been doing for years, but I actually branded, branded it in a way to where it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then, uh, I have a gaming channel, which I have, I ended up mixing that up with like sports and stuff like that. And, you know. I, I have plenty of ventures, uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna end up doing, and if you are just like following me on this main channel here, which is the channel of the mall. Hey, 13 months. Hey, big shout out to, shout you. Out to you. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. But um, let me see here. I'm just gonna go over here to this. Boop, boop. Boom. And, you know, uh, these two channels are the channels that I put the most work into. Uh, I've had both of these channels for about a year, some change, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's not easy to grow a channel and you got to be very consistent. That's one of the things about uh, having a channel or whatnot is you got to be very consistent. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm definitely on the gaming channel. I'm going to, uh, clean up, clean up the branding and I'm, I will have like, you know, short, short term content on there. You know, I'm going to be uh, on Twitch some more. Uh, I think Twitch is just, uh, you know, regardless of what people saying, it's just the place where I can actually do what I enjoy along with the other thing that I enjoy, which is music. And that's playing games and Street Fighter 6 is it's fun as fuck. You feel me? So, um, yeah, I'm going to probably just do a, a, a channel just to dedicated to, you know, reviews of music. And I think that would go off better because the short term content could be like, hey, I could be talking about, you know, why this music ain't hitting, that music ain't hitting. And you know what I'm saying? And, and why this music is good, why this music isn't, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and it won't conflict with uh, the Ad McCree channel, you know? Uh, and, and that's what it is. Said my blanket is a terror. <laughs> terror or terrible. Uh, <laughs> you pick it. Uh, I know everybody's trying to get on the blank uh, on the blanket train because of uh, men are uh, big shout out to him. Uh, someone I actually fuck with in real life. Uh, along with a lot of the people in the FGC, I've, I've been a part of uh, the fighting game community for years. Uh, I'm, I'm no I'm not trash. Uh, but in Street Fighter 6, I've definitely, uh, this is definitely the best, the better results of a Street Fighter game that I've ever had. Um, but this is the one I've taken the most serious. I didn't take, I came in too late on Street Fighter 4 because I was playing Marvel vs. Capcom 3. And, you know, I'm avid on those. Said no Hugo yet. But probably, uh, if you're looking for, uh, Hugo <laughs> to be in Street Fighter 6, I highly doubt it. Uh, for the reason that the way Capcom is moving the game and they're telling the story. Yeah, I don't think we'll see Bison. I don't think we'll see Balrog, which is disappointing to me because I usually play Boxer. And, you know, I, I've been playing Blanca and Boxer since I was... Lord. Like, it had to be in, like, in the single digits. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, well, there's no, uh, without a shout out, no, Street Fighter 6 is probably the best Street Fighter to ever be invented, period. And I'm saying that with it only being out for just a month and some change. It's definitely the best Street Fighter to ever be invented. And you only can get that result from, from exploring the concepts of the older games and taking what is good and great. 
And then not to mention that they finally rebranded it. A lot of people don't see Street Fighter 6 as a fighting game. They see it as like a open world game with some fight with like kind of like a fighter's perspective to it. So yeah, it, it has a lot of potential and it's something that I would love to play and, and uh, you know, kind of build that base over uh, and let, let my peoples uh, have some time over on our world. Because a lot of people in, that are in the FGC do music they just don't do music to a higher uh, capacity like, you know, us, like we do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and vice versa. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Pollution, what's going on? I haven't seen you in a while. God bless you for being up in here. So, yeah, I, I would definitely be playing that. There's a huge game coming out soon. Uh, Arm, uh, Armor Core. That's going to be insane. It's the same people uh, from software that made... Uh, Elden Ring, which Elden Ring I played just a little bit of and I'm just like pulled out my hair because it's extremely difficult, but it's enjoyable. Uh, <laughs> Destructo, what's going on? He said, thanks again, Amakree. All the folks I, I heard up in here are definitely worth my time. Uh, whether the music is good or <laughs> not there yet, <laughs> they, <laughs> uh, they take the recommendation to make adjustments and submit again. No doubt, no doubt. Um, yeah, it's, it's just not easy to send your music uh, to someone and, and hope it, that they'll like it. You know what I'm saying? I think that's one of, there's a video that I'm going to do. I'm not going to tip tip my hands on the actual concept of it, but I've been I've been wanting to do this video for a while. I was going to talk about uh, <laughs> Timbaland. I'm going to talk about Timbaland in a way that he, he needs to hear it. And I need to be one of those people that actually put it out there like that. Because um, as much as I understand one thing about, you know, what he's trying to do, there's a, there's a nasty aspect and things that need to be talked about. Uh, and I don't give a shit who gets mad at me. I don't give a fuck about no damn sponsorships or anything of, of that nature. Uh, what I do care about is this community at large because I've been here. I've been uh, struggling with you guys. I've been an amateur trying to show y'all guys my little amateur tricks. And y'all guys have been here longer than any of these fucking bitch ass companies. <laughs> Uh, they they don't mean shit to me because I don't mean shit to them. They uh, they can always find another me on here and they can tap dance it on up. I don't give a fuck. Uh, please believe it. And I hope some of them are watching so because they need to know that shit. Uh, they need to tighten that shit the fuck up. But anyways, uh, yeah, producer noise up in this bitch. What's going on? What makes Street Fighter 6 stand out from the others uh, other games? Well... What makes Street Fighter 6 stand, stand out is it's a, a healthy balance of all the Street Fighter games. You know, you have the basics of Street Fighter 2, you know, of any Street Fighter in that, in that sense. Uh, you have Street Fighter 1989, which is Final Fight. Uh, they, they intertwine. God damn it. I hate one. Mic check, check, check. Uh, they intertwined the the concept of Metro City into Street Fighter. Uh, they inter they're introducing new Street Fighter characters in a way in which I can appreciate. I would appreciate it more if I was a younger person, but I appreciate it a lot because they took those concepts and wrapped them up in one. Uh, the gaming mechanics are a representation of every Street Fighter that's been around. I know there's certain people that complain about like Drive Rush, the drive system, and whatnot, but I think it's fly because one of the biggest issues I always had with Street Fighter is it gets a little stale and boring. Street Fighter V was super stale. I mean, they really watered that fucking game down. And I did not like it at all. At all. And I understand that they had like tight time constraints um, and they had a limited budget that was provided by Sony. You know what I'm saying? So those things kind of hurt. Uh, the aspect of, of, of a game or a company and what they can do. Um, but, you know, the complaints, and that's one of the things that I was uh, thinking about in terms of just talking about something, uh, about how, how the, the fighting game community stood the fuck up and made them put out Street Fighter VI in a way that rivals that of Mortal Kombat. And mind you, that WB has a bigger amount of money they are a big bank when it comes to entertainment. So that's why Mortal Kombat will always be a, a huge release because they have the funds for it. And they're just only doing this with characters that they have that's been around since the 80s. You know what I'm saying? 
So there's a lot to like about Street Fighter from a concept. And it has the, and the drive impact system or the drive system in itself has the right amount of trigger. Like it'll piss you the fuck off. Like if I would have started streaming when I started playing online in ranked, I probably would have been banned off of Twitch for the things I was saying. Now I have a little bit more patience. I still say a lot of uh, crazy shit, but boy, I was pissed. But yeah, that, that game in itself is phenomenal in the sense that it has the addiction aspect right. It serves a, a certain group of people better, you know, with the open world story mode. And then the actual, they have stepped up everything. Graphically, I've never seen a game on that level. But anyways... Salute. God bless, man. I really do appreciate everybody for pulling up. I, I really do. Um, I just can't appreciate y'all enough. And that's one thing I, I want to keep on doing is making sure that you guys know that uh, re re regardless of the size of the audience, like, you guys matter for, uh, to me. Y'all do. Because it's, hey, without y'all guys, I, I wouldn't be shit. And I really do mean that. And uh, yeah. We out. Peace.